guys, welcome back to Tismania TV. In today's video, I am doing my collective haul for August 2019. And I don't have a ton of stuff to show you this month because most of the purchases that I've done have been for our home. We are renovating and doing some redecorating and this will be the final step for the apartment before we've redecorated everything since we moved in 10 years ago. So this fall I will finally be able to do a complete house tour for you guys. Yay! And I'm not going to be showing you the stuff that I've purchased for the apartment in this video because you'll see that in an upcoming video and it's weird to just like pick random pieces of stuff. I don't usually show you things that I buy for the apartment. So I'm going to focus on stuff that's just for me. <laughs> anyway, let's kick things off with four awesome items from our pals over at Shein. As always, they have a discount code for you and you will find it along with the direct links to everything that I'm about to show you in the caption box. So head there if you see items you like and if you want a discount. Starting out we have a pair of magazine print jeans. These are a fun pair of very detailed jeans containing lots of different magazine prints. The jeans aren't very stretchy so they fit nice and tight. They have all the standard details like pockets and such. And I haven't decided if I'm keeping these as they are or if they're getting some sort of makeover. I will have to get back to you on that. But it's a fun pair of jeans either way. Next up are these amazing wet look leggings. I have had leggings like these before, but it's been a while and I decided it was time to get them again. These look and fit so damn amazing, it's like a second skin. You guys know how obsessed I am with plastic looking things. I love that they are three quarter length, it's perfect with my docks. The waist is nice and high, not too tight, they sit perfectly over my belly, but there are two problems with these beauties. First, the noise. Since I don't have a thigh gap, this sound is inevitable when I'm walking around in these. And some are recommended I try using latex spray, like the spray that you use to give latex that wet look. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm definitely gonna try it. And then the second thing is, these are really thick and warm and so damn tight. It took me some time to put these on, to be honest. So I don't know if I wanna wear these where when I know I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom because I don't want to end up in a Ross situation where I'm like in the bathroom I take these off I pee and then when I put them back on they no longer wanna come on you know that's ah uh, you don't want that to happen <laughs> but those issues aside these are amazing they are full coverage you can wear them as trousers even though they are leggings they are super soft and stretchy easy to move around in so I really hope I get some use out of these if you by the way have pants like this at home and you have ideas for how to get rid of the squeaky noise or the being extremely sweaty and not being able to put them on. Will you let me know how to do it in the comments, please? And we are moving on to a jacket. Fall is approaching and I am obsessed with jackets and with leopard print, so this happened. <laughs> this is a fluffy leopard print jacket with a bomber jacket model and there are no details except for the zipper in the front. No pockets, no hoodie, just the fluff and that's okay. It's very very soft and the inside is lined so it will keep you warm during the chillier season and I really like this jacket. I love that it's a cold tone leopard print because most leopard print thingies are that kind of brownish tone which I don't like. Now that my hair is back to the silvery whitish blue whatever you want to call it I want to pair it with like cold tones so I'm really happy that it's a grayish whitish uh, leopard print jacket because I do have a leopard print jacket from Shein from before that's a warm colored one. And finally, we have a backpack. I had this type of backpack as a kid and recently got one for myself that I then ended up forgetting in a cab on the same night that I got it. So stupid. So I was super happy when I saw that she in had them as well. I got the black and white checkered one because black and white go with everything. These are so basic and simple, which is perfect because you can have them folded up in your regular bag and then just take them out when you need more space for stuff, like when you're shopping. The material is kind of plasticky, so keep that in mind if you want to buy one of these bags and just prefer a more softer, more fabric-like look and feel. I don't actually mind because, again, I kind of like plastic, so... Thank you Shein, discount code and direct links in the caption box. Again, let's continue. I was approached by a punk DIY brand on Instagram about trying some of their things and I was like, um, hell yes. The brand is called Etisk 6. I don't know how to pronounce that in English because the first word is a Swedish word, but 
it means ethical in Sweden. I'll put the link to them in the caption box. They sent me a surprise package that contained a tank top, a necklace, a pair of earrings and some stickers. The earrings and the necklace match. The hardware is chains of metal with neon green plastic details in the shape of little coffins. My hair was green at the time, so it's a perfect color match. The tank top is white with a neon green print. I don't know if that spelling error is on purpose, but waist lead is pretty fucking funny too, so I don't actually mind. I love the chaotic print and I love the slits in the back, so thank you very much. And I can tell that my camera has totally tilted off. I'm using a fucking hat as a camera stand right now because I can't be bothered. <laughs> so, so if it's like, eh, you know why. Next, we have four items that were sent to me by lovelywholesale.com. They also have a discount code for you, so go check the caption box for that. First up, we have a bathing suit. A black and white stripy one-piece suit in a halter model that you tie in the back of the neck. It's a pretty cute bathing suit, but the way the high waist looks in the back, like it's scrunched it up into a non-flattering way that I'm not too fond of. But other than that, I like this. And I like that it can be kind of used as a halter top as well. It's not an obvious bathing suit in a way that some swimwear can be. I'm sure it would look nice with some shorts or a skirt. Next, they sent me a short neon yellowish green dress with some motorcycle type prints on it and some slits here and there. And I'm pretty sure this comes in other colors as well. This has a little bit of transparency, so I'm wearing skin tone undies here. It's a nice and sleek fabric. I, however, don't like that the white inside of the fabric sometimes shows through the slits, at least if I'm wearing necklaces, which I always am. But all in all, it's a cute, simple, tight dress. And then we have two other dresses that I actually ended up giving away to a friend of mine because the fit is off and they're actually not my style at all. The first is this red maxi dress. It's a great soft and stretchy fabric, don't get me wrong, but it is clearly made for a taller person because it is way too long for me. And also the pockets on the sides ride so low on me, it just looks weird. My friend who's like 10 centimeters taller than me, she looks great in it though. So if you're tall and you want a nice flowy maxi dress, this is the dress for you. And the last dress from Lovely Wholesale, yeah, it's a shirt dress in yellow plaid. What the fuck was I thinking? Another maxi dress buttoned all the way down the front and made to fit in the waist through an included band. I feel like a housewife or something in this dress. And again, it's pretty long. It has pockets, better placed than on the red dress. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with the dress or with the quality. It's just not a Tasmania dress at all. And in all honesty, very few things from lovelywholesale.com are Tasmania friendly or part of my aesthetic. So I probably won't work with them again. Again, not because of quality or issues, just because I'm not their target group. We're moving on to some band t-shirts that I got at Uppsala Rumble, which is a punk festival that I took my husband to recently as part of his birthday celebration. We had a great time and I got two t-shirts. The first one is from my favorite band, Last Kaj Fjorton, that I just friggin' love. This is my second t-shirt from them. And the other one my hubby bought for me as a thank you for the festival. And it's from a band called Borgerlig Begravning. And you'll have to translate these bad names for yourself if you want to know. That band consists of two teenagers and a young kid. And yes, they're young and they just started out. But they are pretty fucking rad, so of course I wanted to show some support by buying merch. And both of these tees will be turned into tag tops, of course. I also got myself a new cell phone. And I had Samsung phones for like eight years or something, but I just got fucking tired of their overpriced shit. So I switched over to Motorola instead. I got the Moto G7 Plus and I can just get this sucker off. I can show you that I got it in red. Look at that. Oh, and it's nice and big. This is my old phone. And as you can tell, it is bigger and a client is calling right now, shit. Wow, I cannot finish recording in peace today. Okay, I'm gonna try to get through this last part uh, fast. So yeah, the new phone, very happy, and you saw the difference, blah, 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 all that jazz. And finally, this month, I have a pair of sandals to show you. Now, I know I got very similar ones at the beginning of the summer, but these are actually higher in platform, and that is what I wanted from the beginning, so... These are from Basso and they are pure 90s style, which I love. Solid black with some text details in white, which I actually thought looked pretty cool. Real like tractor sole that is just slightly higher in the back. 
Nice and comfy with three adjustable Velcro straps, one over the toes, one diagonally across the foot, and then one base strap. The only problem is the front and base straps can only be tightened to a certain point, and my feet and ankles are pretty narrow, so I would have loved to be able to tighten these more. They don't fall off or anything, they're just a little loose, which is a little annoying, but yeah, it's fine. Um, the middle strap, however, does not have a stop, so that one can be tightened to perfection. Now, I heard some things about the sizing at Basso, so, uh, so I basically just took a chance and went two sizes larger than I normally would, and my normal size is European 39. So I went for European 41, which if it was normal 41 would be way too big for me, but because they don't size these normally for some damn reason, these were a perfect fit, like a perfect 39, even though it's a 41. It's so weird that they can't just stick to the same rules that everybody else does. But yeah, it worked out well for me, but I've heard other people like be super pissed off because their shoes don't fit. That is it for this month's haul. I'm sorry that it's been a little disruptive with phone calls and weird lighting and the freaking hat as a... <laughs> camera stand but it's just one of those days so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and remember do no harm but take no shits i'll see you next time Bye bye